Hello guys, today we are going to practically verify the uh, verify the measurement of power in star and delta connected circuits in three phase networks, and we will be practically seeing that the uh, power consumption in delta connected is three times as uh, you might have seen in textbooks that the power consumption in for a given resistive load bank or in any load bank we are going to verify it for resistive load bank that the power consumption in delta connected networks for a given voltage and for a given resistances is three times that as it consumes the power in star connected network today we are going to verify the same thing for that the various accessories which we require are here uh, this is my load bank you can see this is a three phase load bank of capacity having 20 amps and we can connect this load bank in star as well as in delta fashion depending upon the requirement also we will require this device actually this is a watt meter inside have two watt meters right? this gives us a measurement of power in three phase circuits right and this is a three phase power supply and the circuit scheme which we are going to connect see actually we have to verify the amount of power consumed in star and in delta right as you might have seen that the amount of power consumption for a given voltage and resistance is in star it's uh, in delta it is three times as compared in, uh, in star connected uh, load bank same will be verified first what we will do we will uh, connect to this three phase power supply r y b which is actually coming from here we have a three phase power supply available here this is not controllable actually this is a fixed 440 line line voltage 400 line voltage fix it right after that we'll be connecting these two watt measuring device actually this is the watt meter this is another watt meter you can see we are having one section of watt meter on this side and another section of watt meter on this side and the total power consumption is given by this scale which is actually p1 plus p2 after that we'll be measuring the current using this device the clamp on meter right and the same three phase power supply via these two measuring uh, uh, via these measuring instruments watt meter goes to this load bank right First, we will connect this in star right after that the same process will be repeated we will be having the same three phase measuring instrument pad uh, this watt meter which will measure the total power consumption i will be using measuring the current in uh, and using this clamp on meter i will be using this multimeter to measure the voltage either line voltage or phase voltage the same will be demonstrated the experiment but after the at that time we will be connecting this load back in delta and we will verify for a given for a given load resistance if having the value of r and r and r in each, each phase and the same resistance will be connected in star r r and r phase right uh, then up for this and when we will having the same value of resistance in each phase we have to verify we will be verifying the amount of power consumption right in case of delta it must it must come three times that as that is as in case of star because uh, it's simple you can see if you will observe in star connection you can see you can see actually the phase voltage is appearing across a resistance but if you will see in delta connected network you can see the line voltage appearing over the resistance when since line voltage is actually root three times that the phase voltage i will be showing uh, that too in this experiment uh, major practically uh, the, then accordingly the amount of current drawn in case of star connectivity will be much greater as compared to uh, in delta connected network so the amount of power consumption which is actually i square r will be higher in case of delta circuits and it comes about to be a pro, uh, it comes about to be three times uh, as compared to the star grid so uh, let's verify the uh, same so what we have do we have done actually the three phase power supply is coming from mains right we have connected this watt meter right you can see it is having the connections m l m is uh, mains is coming and L is going to the load section, right? You can see another mains is coming, and L is going to the load section, and it's M and V are shorted, right? And this common and common are shorted on third phase and it goes to the load bank. So first, what we will do? We have uh, <coughs> set the switch selection in each phase at zero position, right? And we'll be turning off this MCB, and from here, you can see we have turned on this MCB from the mains. Now we will turn on the MCB on the load bank. You can see all the three phase R, Y, B are uh, glow on. Now what we will do, we will um, set the resistances 
in each phase at so we we'll select the switch selection to 0 1 0.1 and 0.1 that means in each phase where will we have connected some resistance so the value of resistance is r ohms right now but you can see the load bank is star connected you can see its end points are shorted and it will become the neutral point and these are the three phase r phase y phase v that means right now the load bank is connected in star and the amount of uh, resistance in each phase is r r and r you can see the switch selection is at position 1, position 1 and position 1 rest all are at the 0 position and corresponding to this resistance you can see say the circuit is like this first resistance is circuit right we have connected phase r r and r in each phase you can see the amount of power consumption is around 900 watts right you can see the 900 watts but what we will do we will when we connect the same setup in delta connector fashion keeping the supply voltage fixed we will observe the amount of power consumption will be approximately or not approximately will be three times uh, than it were it is in star if it is 900 watts so let's verify the same for that we will switch off the first means right we'll switch the set selection to zero now for that we have to connect this in delta so how it will be connected the start end of one as you can see the end will be connected to the start of one phase another phase the end of phase second will be connected to the start of third phase and will be requiring a third wire so the end of third phase will be connected to the start of first phase that means right now we have connected the load back in delta connected fashion so <coughs> we will turn on means you can see all the phases are glowing also r y b now mcb is on <coughs> now we will uh, set this uh, resistance switch selection to the value of r r and r in each phase which i which earlier was connected in star value was r you can see r r and r in each phase now you can see the amount of power consumption in delta connected load so will be it must should come around 900 watts multiplied by 3 that's 2700 watt most reach 22700 watts so actually we have verified the thing that when we connect the same load bank in delta the power consumption is three times as it was connected in star also i, I will be showing you the basic thing <coughs> that as you might have seen that the amount of the line current in delta connected circuit you can see you can see the line voltage and the phase voltage is same in delta connected circuit so let's first verify the same because in case of delta we don't have any neutral point so the line voltage and the phase voltage will be same so let's verify the same so you have this line voltage Measuring between the two lines is 345 volts, and if we measure the phase voltage, it's also 344 volts, right? But what uh, actually happens to the current? Let's uh, verify the same in this clap meter. As you know, that the line current is root 3 times the phase current. You can see the amount of line current for this value of R measuring in any phase, keeping on ampere AC. So it's 5 point, it's around 5 amps, 4.9 amps, but it's the line current, right? If we measure the current in the phase, we can say it's 2.8 amps. It's almost 4.9 divided by root 3, right? The current which is flowing in the phase is 2.8 amps, and the same when the amount of current flowing in the line is 4.9 amps. So if you divide 4.9 by root 3, it will come out to be 2.8 amps. Right, let's uh, verify the same thing in star connected load. In star, what we have, we will switch off the mains. We will again connect this in star. For that, we'll short these end terminals to make the neutral point. Right. 
we will turn on the means now you can see in start first we will measure the line voltage you can see line voltage will be 365 but you can see the phase voltage Phase voltage is 207 so if you divide 364 by roots it will come out to be 27207 volts but in case of star line voltage and phase voltage we see you can see i'm measuring the current in line it's 1.6 amps i will measure this in the phase it's also 1.7 amps so the amount of current flowing in the line and the phase is same you can see i'm showing it once again phase current is 1.7 you can see the line current is 1.7 right but the phase voltage is line voltage by root 3 and that was all about the basics how we can practically verify the voltage current and power in three phase networks so overall if we have a okay, see the observations which we have done you can see the observation will be a star connected load you, uh, we have verified this p phase is line voltage by root 3 but in delta connected load with our phase and uh, phase voltage and line voltage was the same but in star connected load our phase current was equal to line current but in delta connected load our phase current was line current upon root 3 also the actual good uh, uh, the important parameter regarding the power the power consumption in delta connected load was three times than star connected load for a given resistance uh, i will repeat i will show it once again this right now the load is connected in star you can see the amount of power consumption for a given value of r r and r in each page is around 900 watts right if the same uh, value of r is repeated for delta connection so i have changed this from star to delta for that what I will do the end of this will be connected to the start of second phase end of this will be connected to the start of this phase and the end of this will be connected so now the load bank is connected in delta the value of r is same so let's sit on the power supply you will see the amount of power consumption will be three times and you can see or you can see the needle has stabilized at 2700 watts and the power consumption right now is 2700 watts which was actually the third observation that the power consumption in delta connected load is three times thank you have a nice day